Grand Haven listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means we've got one more day to celebrate Pride. One of my favorite promotions this month, contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation-based and will not depend on artistic ability. But just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. It's coming down the pike. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me answering your calls in just a few minutes. It's too damn hot to be, what's it called? Talking. Alright, the heat's no excuse. Better take this call. Hey, you're live. What can I do you for? Hey, uh, well, I think I might have screwed up pretty big with my son. Oh, okay. What happened? Ah, uh, you're gonna think I'm a real jerk, but... My boy Grady sat me down yesterday, and he, I guess the term you'd use is, he came out to me. And I could have handled it a lot better than I did. Well, I don't know if a fake radio psychic is who you need to be talking to right now. No, you misunderstand. I don't want a reading. Anyway, he loves your show listens to it religiously, and I thought maybe I could put in a song request on his behalf. Just so he knows I hear him, and I love him. Hey, everybody screws up sometimes, man. I'm proud of you for trying to make it better. That's very kind of you. Just maybe try to be on board from now on. Having a queer kid is an absolute blessing. I wish more dads acted like it. Yeah, for sure. What's the track? It's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. Grady played it for me right before he tried to talk to me. Said it was meaningful to him. All right. Let me see if I can dig it up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pretty sure we've got that record somewhere in the back room. Hey, Steph. Your pals at Smolder have noticed you're having a massive dry spell on account of you live in fucking nowhere, Colorado. Would you like to expand your dating radius? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Even if I had the money, I know a sucker's bet when I see one.
Time to deliver good music. From the storage room to the masses. I'm just gonna pretend that all the mice moved out and went to Mouse College by now. Great. That guy's request is locked in here. And instead of a combo, I have four drawings. Those drawings were meant to be a hint. I guess I should look around the store. Ooh, maybe it's time for a little record store archaeology. That must have been some party. Oh, wow. Cradle snap. I think my dad had their records. Gosh, I ran this place for a long time. Oh, man. Better leave that here, or I'll be shaking it on the radio until I get fired. <laughs> oh, good. I was afraid we were going to run out of boxes. I bet you've seen your fair share of bad haircuts, haven't you? That's not even close to enough scissors. If Ducky doesn't pick up his Bobby Darren album, I'm sacrificing it to the big band gods. Have I not unpacked my drums because I still feel guilty about leaving the band? Or am I just lazy? Those look like ghosts to me. Grabbing this for reference. Man, that guitar's seen some shit. Huh. Chef Betty's senior cooking class is getting popular. Better sound quality, but still a hard-ass chair. Wish I had more to work with. Not the most effective cooling system, but in this heat, I'll pick anything. Been getting a lot of folks saying good for you about these, but not so many takers. All this labeling is giving me flashbacks to the thankless world of high school stage managing. I thought cats were supposed to be low maintenance. Maybe a handful of bees could roar the cat out of the wall. Where was a good spot to put them? Could drop a few treats there. Cats love windowsills, right? Or maybe over there? It's a nice spot. Consider it a peace offering. It was genuinely my pleasure. I hate that I actually find this funny.
those shades are undeniably star shaped. Could be useful. It took me way too long to notice this. Last thing I've got to do today is pack up all the pride decorations. I'll catch up with you eventually, Chad. Anyway, I still need to add the tally for last night's match. Man, that game was something else. You're getting better. I might have to actually try this time. Try all you want. This is my game. Pride cometh before a fall. Well, whatever you do, don't think about Jed in a diaper. Ugh, dude. I said not to think about it. Goo goo ga ga stuff. Let me pour you a glass of my top shelf formula. I'm not listening. Blah, Steph! Where'd you go, damn it? I haven't developed object permanence yet. So, how's the fake psychic gig? Stoic. I admire that. Oh, damn! What happened, Gabe? I thought you were going to try this time. My hands were sweaty. It's the poor craftsman who blames his tool. My first victory on the board. Not gonna make a big deal. Well played, Gabe. Now, I will destroy you. Actual Haven teenagers buying signed copies of Thanor is the most wholesome shit I've ever seen. The great and noble Elamon has been through many hardships. He's lost multiple limbs, died and come back to life who knows how many times. Twelve. But through it all, Elamon has always counted on one thing. Friendship. The love and care of a cherished friend. Wait, what? I mean, that's nice, Steph, but you know Elamon fights alone. Always has, always will. I'm talking about your sword. Oh, carry on. Been working on some villains for this campaign. I may be biased, but they're fucking awesome. Mikey keeps sailing south to make me add more paper. Which, I'll admit, was funny the first time. Welcome to Crindle's Keep, a peaceful little seaside village. Or so it appears. Do they call it Crindle's Keep because all the kids keep disappearing? Bad taste, Elamon. Roll for too soon. Yar, it's 
a travesty what's happening to them poor minnows. Disappearing from out in front of us like salt in the wind. I'm terribly sorry to hear that, Captain. Yar. Have you tried looking in the ocean? You do seem to have a lot of that around here. We've looked in the damn ocean. Will you help us or not? Elamon, is at your service. This campaign has been, dare I say, epic so far. I'm so glad Mikey got us playing again. To repay him, I need to come up with the most badass baddie he's ever seen. I'm down to three options. Time to choose. It takes a lot of work to keep one step ahead of Elamon. Not. Wait, wait. There, see? Not a raccoon. I could listen to that melody I've been tinkering with. Not bad, kind of sparse, but I dig it. Still feel like it's missing something though. It needs a hook, but what kind? Maybe like a really poppy hook, something that makes you want to dance. really turning into something. Honestly, if this is as bad as Cautious seems to think it is, I'm dying to hear it. Hasn't been a lot of interest in sheet music. I should just clear it out when I have time. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Taking this to look at later. When you're competing with the entire internet, you need to get aggressive. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? Borrowing this for a minute, that's all four records. Watch your back, combo lock. Fewer, yes, but so many remain. So very many. Drew this with Ethan. That kid is surprisingly fun. Hmm. No reason the story has to end here. Should I draw something else? Looks like our intrepid heroes could use a little help. Nailed it. Sick GTO. Something 
something hidden in these is supposed to get me insane. Better get code cracking. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Hmm. Those shades are undeniably star-shaped. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very... Hmm. Those look... I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? Let's pop this bad boy open. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Let's pop this bad boy open. That wasn't it either. Finally, I can destroy Mordor and get on with my day. Oh, awesome. Here it is. This Grady kid has good taste. I can finally get back in the booth and play this record. If anyone still cares. I need to make sure I've read all three ads today. And now, a message from our sponsors. The quality folks at Avalanche Ice Cream know just how much Haven Spring loves ice cream. Haven loves ice cream so much that Avalanche has more than 50 flavors. Just thinking about that many is giving me brain freeze. That's Avalanche Ice Cream. Best treats this side of the Rockies. Dang, I'm blowing up today. I'll probably answer that call. Thanks for calling in. You're on with Steph. Uh, sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what can I predict for you? I am in serious need of some divine foresight. And having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents next week. That's some scary stuff. I've seen grown men cry over less. Right? And I'm still a teenager, so I'm quaking in my combat boots. I can see why a prediction is in order. Yeah, so if you could just tell me that dinner goes well. Great. I will consult with Mother Fate. Be right back. And by Mother Fate, I mean you. Seventeen. You go, girl. All right. Moment of truth. I don't want to give this girl news, but I don't want to get her hopes up either. I mean, the D20 seems optimistic. I'm getting image family dinner. Okay. I'm seeing your parents telling embarrassing stories, bragging about your accomplishments, and I'm seeing 
playing while trying to seem cool. Oh, I love you. Tragic. Any grave by your mother. All told, despite your embarrassment, the evening goes really well. In fact, your lady finds your parents' antics endearing and happily follows them after dinner to look at all your baby pictures. Okay, all of this is exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks, Dad. You bet. Good luck and thanks for your call. Maybe now I can start a new show. I'll call it Dateless Dating Advisor. Oh. More to offer than the Black Lantern jukebox, but barely. Bit of a learning curve, but we got this. I'm sitting in a booth talking to myself about pride. Cut off from the outside world is an understatement, but this was a sweet message. You're on with Steph. What can I tell you? Yeah, hey, thanks for taking my call. So I'll cut to the chase. I have the world's worst roommate. That's a bold claim. Are you ready to back it up? I'm afraid so. Everything he does is loud. Music, phone calls, the little click noises on when he texts, which is every second. And the smells. I think he thinks the face masks the fact that he doesn't shower. Everything is just like strawberry yo. Uh, okay. I get the picture. So why are you here? So I've been planning to have a lay out all the cards there's a way to make this work. And you want to know how it plays out. You are the psychic. Okay, give me a sec. A five? Pretty bad. Home not feeling like home. That's a rough one. So can a house meeting really turn it around? Honey didn't have my vote. I have seen into the blurry future. And? You have your house meeting? It doesn't help. He makes a big show of putting away, like, one dish. Then he's right back to the way he was. Really? There's just nothing I can do? Well, you find ways to cope. Take up guitar playing and buy the loudest amp you can find, just to be safe. On brand, honestly. And you end up really liking guitar. It's a little petty for sure, and it doesn't really solve your problems, but it is fun. Why? Sorry, bro. I am, but I'm trying to make people safe, yada yada yada. Thanks for the call. Take a quick ad break, Kind Haven listeners. Are you tired of only getting news about big towns far away? Then you must not be reading the Rocky Mountain Gazette. The RNG's reporters are so local that you, 
Yes, you are eating lunch with one right now. And you didn't even know it. And as locals, these reporters... care about the things you care about. They walk your streets, shop your shops, curse at the same pothole you curse at. If you want world-class, fair journalism, look no farther than your own backyard, the Rocky Mountain Gazette. I know it's not that much, but I have the memory of a goldfish. Nothing says high quality radio content like an obnoxious sound effects board. I bet I could use this on air. KRCT is brought to you in part by our sponsors at the Black Lantern. It's been a brutally hot summer so, visit the Lantern and escape the heat with New Popsicles. The kiddos can stain their tongues purple while you enjoy a round of darts and a cold one. And if that's not enough to get you in the door, the upcoming bar crawl will. How do you do a bar crawl when there's only one bar in town? You'll have to show up to find out. Hit up the Black Lantern today and tell them Steph sent you. That was the last thing I needed to do on the radio. I still have to pack up the pride decorations though. Guess when I'm done procrastinating, I'll go get that box ready to hold the decorations. This place looks great. All good things must come to an end, which means every pride decoration must come down. Izzy bought this for my kitchen table, our first pride together. Cheers. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah, one little oasis in the year where you don't have to feel like it's you versus the world. People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. Oh, I know. <laughs> Come on, it's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> I'm gonna go mess with her. No, don't. Chloe, I swear to God. Every time I look at this, I feel part of something. Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. 
To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate, to show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. Just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. I want to be her. Same. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. I love these so much. Our lettering was on point. Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. And spending way too much money. And meeting cool people. And recharging my entire soul. Word. All right, signs are dry. Let's go. Eventually, I'll get this hanging over my drum set again. Happy Pride, Seattle! Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA Youth Shelter. Also, I just want to say, holy shit, you all have made this the best Pride ever, literally ever. We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. Guess that's everything but the flag on the front door. There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Gender queer pride, bi pride, hand pride, lesbian pride, uh, bear pride, I think. I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie, you look just like a 14-year-old homo at your first pride. Just like everyone else here once was. And they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong.